Hello everyone, welcome back to 4 Science and Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. This time we are going to head over to Moho because, well, that's basically the last place we need to go until we head to EVE. We've got a Gilly contract, but uh, that can be done at the same time as our first test of the EVE system to land Kerbals on EVE and bring them back. So, yeah, we'll just do Gilly at the same time as that. Of course, the first time I do that, we're not going to be sending Kerbals. We'll be testing the system first. Uh, but anyway, this time is Moho. And we're actually a little bit too close to Moho. It should be 108 degrees. And, but we'll try to make it work out with overwhelming force. Science, by returning a sample report. Well, a surface sample report. Uh, it says returning. Uh, hopefully that just means transmitting. It doesn't... It doesn't tell me whether we have to actually physically bring it back. Hmm. Okay, well, that sounds like a job for our rover though. Because it's already got the little surface sample arm. Or we could send a Kerbal. Our rover sure has been useful. Uh, we have designed this one rover and it's landed on Paul, Bob, Val, Elu. Uh, so it might be attractive to just land it on Moho as well. I mean, we might as well land it everywhere that it can land. Uh, it's sort of an idea. But what is the gravity at Moho again? I think I always underestimate the gravity at Moho. So let me look it up. So Moho has a surface gravity of 0.275 G. And let's see now, what do we have here? 1.51 thrust weight ratio for Moho. So it's not horrible, but it's gotta be tough. Moho... I mean, we had overwhelming delta V for Elu here. But Moho is a different sort of critter. Well, uh, this is presumably now reading the correct delta V and it says we have barely enough here. I guess we'll try it. I mean, it, uh, the trip planner says we have enough. And, you know, far be it for me to ignore that. Of course, this had very low thrust weight ratio when going to Elu initially. And, of course, we have to make sure to control properly. Okay, so can we just get to Moho with this without redesigning this, what was an Elu mission? The, for, it was too much for an Elu mission, though, so... Maybe it'll be just right for a Moho mission. Here we go. Uh, uh, this didn't happen the last time we launched this. Well, I'm glad they're fixing some bugs with the new patch, but I don't think they listed this one. <laughs> I, it'll, I, can, I think I can revert to launch and it'll be just fine. I think. They say the Kraken is dead. If that isn't a Kraken, tell me what it is. Once again. Of course, we did revert, so no countdown for us. I mean, I guess at least it gets that glitching over with at the beginning, usually, as opposed to later in the mission. That's a positive. Still can't fathom why it would happen, but... Okay, well, definitely past the speed of sound and going through max Q and looking alright so far. Okay, booster separation. Okay. I wonder what that post decoupling sound is supposed to be. It's sort of a funny sound. So 
So they're doing some re-entry heat rebalancing with the patch. And it does occur to me that basically for my EVE mission, I'll be taking advantage of that because I simply can't do the EVE mission before they uh, release the patch. But maybe I can sneak in a little test of how the atmosphere of EVE is doing right now. I mean, let's consider how bad Lath is. Eve must be horrible, right? I mean, I haven't really checked out how bad Eve is. So I do want to sneak a small quick test, not designing the whole huge thing, but a quick test, maybe with the Gilly mission. I'll send over the Gilly mission as the main thing and then just a quick atmospheric test to see how bad Eve is uh, prior to the patch, just so that we have that as a comparison. And then we'll have to test it again once the patch releases. While we're in space, I should be able to release the fairing, maybe. Maybe. Or not. <laughs> I should increase the uh, the force on that, but... Okay, we're sort of going lopsided here. Hmm. Um, let's just time warp to Apoapsis and round it out before doing any planning. Okay, plotting for Moho. Got a little bit left in this stage. We do have a proper transfer stage. Capturing is always the problem. I don't believe the trip planner, to be honest. Maybe I have latent memories of Mercury in my head, though. I mean, Mercury is traumatizing. <laughs> Mercury is traumatizing with how much Delta V it takes, so maybe I'm just thinking about Mercury, but I'm pretty sure Moho's rather bad too. Now well, there's a encounterish thing there. That's pretty good. That uh, it looks like we can save ourselves a uh, inclination correction anyway. If only I could s just scooch this maneuver by a second or something at a time instead of having to try and hold this and move it physically. That's pretty darn close. 30,000 kilometers. Um, we'll just touch that up afterwards. Honestly, on the main burn, I don't think I can get it that accurate anyway. So. We will take that for now. Let's get the antennae out. Got, what is that one? Abort. No. Um, they got a solar one, but really we need a calm one. But I guess we can send the calm to the solar action group too. But that can be inconvenient in certain situations. We did put the big reaction wheel on here. Sitting right up there. Grimmins looking awful fuzzy today. That landscape... That's not as distinctive as I was expecting from 86 kilometers in altitude. Hmm. Super hazy. And... The tuba. Tuba. Okay, you're not going to show me what's happening, are you? Uh... Alright, but if we put a mid-course correction, it will. Alright, so... But... Let me see... That was... 638. And now... Okay, that's worse. Alright, so we should go retrograde. I think we've gone too far. Okay, well, um, the croissant is up there. So we don't really want to have a low inclination. Let's just go with that first. Alright, we've got a mid-course correction to do, and we are departing Kerbin.
We have RTGs, so we don't have to worry about the solar or anything. Don't care about you not enough resource people. This rover was meant for Jewel and Elu, so... Yep. Go. Now, how much is it going to take to capture? That question we never like asking when it comes to Moho or Mercury. Yep, okay, radial burn first. Okay, ignition. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of Delta V. I should have done the burn earlier. Oop. Nope, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Okay, uh, maybe... Oh, shoot. Talking away. I should have... I should have ignited way earlier than this. Darn it. I'm, I'm gonna see if there's a workable autosave so I can plot the maneuver that I was supposed to do. Moho! This is more than I was expecting. Okay, but it's all the way out there, so... To, okay, there we go. But, let's not do that much. Okay, maybe from out here. How dare Moho take so much... What does it think it is? Mercury? Okay, just gonna press spacebar once. Take your time! Really? You're, you're gonna try and make me light the lan uh, light the ant engines, aren't you? I swear, trying to trick me into doing that. But yeah, that decoupler just likes to hang out. Right now it's showing the Delta V though, at least. Okay, well... Looking at that periapsis... I mean, it doesn't look like we're crashing in yet. The red line is the plot. The blue line is our current path, but... Just keep an eye on it. Come on, capture, darn it! What happened there? Suspicious. Oh, oh, oh. The rover is reorienting. Uh, okay. Please. Oh, you don't have the... Well, we'll just point retrograde. Rove mate. Control from here. Up. And retrograde, and once we capture, we'll just come around to periapsis. But still, no guarantee that this is going to be able to land with everything going like this. Okay. All right, so we have uh, apoapsis, but we'll just come around to periapsis to do another burn. We just don't have enough inclination, I think. Okay, are we, are we going around that way? No, we're going around the other way, aren't we? But we'll still come back by this point before we hit periapsis, so... Right. <laughs> Too bright. Okay, so we have to land over here. It's gotta be in the dark, but we have an RTG. Hopefully it's not a pit like a certain other hole. Um, in theory, the red line is the duration of the burn. 200 meters per second. 
I mean, it can rove. <laughs> we don't have to do it that precisely. It can go along the surface, potentially. Moho's gravity is probably pretty good for it, too. Well, let's anticipate doing something like that with 800 meters per second. And it's still not quite reaching the surface there. Sun is setting. There it is. We're um, really tight on fuel here as we try to land this rover at the croissant, which I will, will once again not be able to see. Uh, I don't need this was just a reference anyway. We're really high up though. I don't know. I think we should just uh, try for the suicide burn and drive over at this point. I don't know how, clo how well we can drive up there though. Or what we're landing on. Did I put a headlights on here? Well, they might not work anyway. This is gonna be litho breaking. E oh. Yeah, we didn't have enough. Okay. Yeah, no, we need a little bit more there. Okay, let's get to another moho window. And then, I hate to say it, but more boosters.